Hello and thanks for joining us. Plymouth is looking for help to improve one of the most dangerous interchanges in Hennepin County. According to Plymouth City officials, the bridge that goes over Interstate 494 at Rockford Road can no longer handle the current levels of traffic. As Delane Cleveland reports, state lawmakers took a look at the problem themselves today. Every day, nearly 40,000 vehicles use this bridge on Rockford Road to either get onto or pass over Interstate 494. But according to the city of Plymouth, the bridge handles 26 times the traffic than when it was initially constructed in 1964. You can see the deteriorating bridge, 52-year-old bridge. We've got public safety issues. We've got congestion issues. Anybody that's lived or traveled in this area knows about this bridge and how hard it is to navigate through. State Senator Paul Anderson joined city leaders and other state lawmakers to see the bridge firsthand. He says one of the biggest issues with the bridge is there aren't dedicated left turn lanes, which means that drivers have to wait for breaks in oncoming traffic to turn left onto 494. City officials say because of that, this area averages 33 crashes per year. We really rely on 494 to get goods and services and commuters around our community and beyond. And so this is really a very important segue. It's a real uh, challenge, both from congestion and public safety. So we're really hoping that we can find a solution. Anderson says the proposed solution is to build a so-called diamond interchange that features dual left turn lanes. Experts say the proposed interchange would improve public safety and traffic flow and reduce congestion. But it comes with a price tag of $10.7 million. Plymouth has submitted a bonding proposal to pay for the project. And I think uh, by virtue of the fact that we're out here today looking at this bridge, uh, we're going to look real long and hard for that. Uh, there's definitely a need here. Whether the rest of the state legislature feels the same way is the big question. Mayor Slavic hopes that getting some key members out here will help their case. We can, you know, go and testify and talk to them all day long, but to really get the experience, I think it's important, and we certainly appreciate their time coming out today. In Plymouth, Delaney Cleveland, CCX News. If the state legislature approves the bonding request in the upcoming session, the hope is that construction could start in either 2019 or 2020.